What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Lobo. Yes, sir. We back again. We are two and one. And guess who we have on this schedule today? TCU, the mole frogs with horns. <laughs> If you haven't seen the previous episode, we did get a win against our rival, the bitter rival, them Wildcats, Arizona, to be exact. Yeah, man, go make sure you run that back. But anyway, this is a new day. We trying to make new plays. Oh, yeah. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. And also make sure you hop in the comment section. That way I know you're in here. Talk to us. We talk back. Got a nice little community going on here. You know what I'm saying? But we about to have with some hometown fun. New Mexico shifts. Focus to the next opponent, TCU. Yes, sir. TCU, you know what to do. We coming in. My friends. But you not my friend. Bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold this up any longer, man. I'm ready to hop into this game. All right, we got a breakdown of the team stats. Let's take a look at TCU. Um, their offense, as far as total points, is okay. They don't, they don't get a whole lot of yards. No, ranked in the 90s as far as total yards and passing, and they're ranked 68th as far as rushing. But we know those numbers can be deceiving. On the defensive side, they're not that great as well. But we already know these numbers can be deceiving. <laughs> On our side, the Lobo side, our numbers are pretty much accurate. We score a lot of points, do pretty good as far as total yards. Not a whole lot of passing, but we are first as far as rushing. On the defensive side, that's where it gets ugly. We got several categories in the hundreds, and that's not good. <laughs> we do have two guys visiting today. We got Caleb Jackson and Arsenio Patillo. Hopefully, we can get these two guys to help out our linebacking core or linebacker core, however you want to say that. Top players for your low bowls. We got Tavian Combs, Ian Smith, and Dante Martin. Nothing has changed there. And the top players for TCU. We got a 95 overall wide receiver, a 89 overall halfback, and a 88 overall halfback. So they probably are gonna run the ball down our throat. And then when we try to stop the run, they're gonna pass it. <laughs> Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports and Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's time to play another game. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, it's that time again, my friends. You already know, let's go Lobos. Bitch! I hope we don't get sent home like some hobos. <laughs> oh shit! This is our home. If we can't win here... What? You already know it's gonna be a long year. We're here in Albuquerque, <laughs> New Mexico, situated on the mighty Rio Grande. Welcome back to New Mexico. We do got some zero. purple in here, but a whole lot of red Enjoy and silver. All eye right, eye let's see what we got. He just wants to have we got a chance pass. Knock him out. All right, that's a TFL. Bro, what is he doing? Gonna run it and he's Bring him down. And he's tackled oh my god. That man doing so it. Keep his shuffle in the backfield. I should have stayed with him. Bring him down. 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 Oh my god. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense just right open where you immediately. Want. And there's a run. We gotta stop one or the other. We can't let him do both. Green, bring him down. And 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down. Uh, right around the 22 yard. This receiver showed soft hands. He's taken down around the 13 yard line. Walking down the field. Wide out look. Wide open. He's got room to work. Touchdown, TCU. Man went eight of eight. All eight passes he completed. That well drawn up play for the and that well, was the easiest one. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Guy. And we got BYU taking down Utah, Utah State. State. Part of the battle for the Beehive booth. And BYU and Utah improves Utah State, to three and two. The Cougars grab a win by six. Okay, nothing going on there. No, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players from last year. Got him. They'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line. Gets it out okay. quickly. Ah. He's tackled at the 31. We got to get more out of that when they blitz him, man. One of their key players back again this year. Let's go, and Nate. The stop around the 39 yard line. Tackle that. Okay. Run up the gut. Not going to be able to outrun him. Down he goes at the 45. Got him. Fires oh, my. He's taken down the 37 oh, my. Yard. Got to find the open receivers and hit them quickly. Now he's there. scrambling. With a quick throw. Got him. Got a man. Got him. Touchdown. Oh, Luke Skywalker. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up just with big the plays. Bradley of the touch in this wide to get a touchdown. Really have outstanding Davis update. Update time from the top 25. A tight game. Two okay, we got a close game between number six Utah and, and number 20 Archer Stanford. One Stanford leading that one, 21 and 20. 21-20. Early moments. Of Battle the of the unbeaten. No. no. Come on, man. Gets out to around the 35. We had two chances for a TFL. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 45. And now he's running. Bring him down. They'll get him for a loss. That's a great play by the defense. He might have a chance. Bring him down. Makes it to the 47. Come on, man. In the 36 yard line. Like that man got a force field on him or something. Bring him down. Bring him down for a loss on the play. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. And that will be the end of the first quarter. And it's a tie game. Your Lobos and those we frogs with one. horns. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Ian Smith is having a good game so far. No. And no. It takes three people to tackle him. Should have been tackled short of the first down. Right there. And then again right there. There we go. That's how you bring him down. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change oh up the blocking my. scheme. Oh, my. You the defense to play in your backfield. <gasps> and I ran right past him. Inside the 10. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ran right past him. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. In other news, we got number eight, Arkansas, Wu Pig, against number five, Texas A&M. And it's a tie game.
And no. Man tackled for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Scrambling around. Man, I almost threw it right to him. Dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. Throws it deep. Got him. And that's Terrence Rust. I don't know if he could have delivered a better ball. I've been waiting for you to show up. Standing next to him. That was spectacular. Good pass. Was not underthrown. He's gonna try and scramble. Ain't nobody gonna catch him. They can't catch him. They can't catch him. Ah, I tried to get out of bounds. Hey, <laughs> This is how we killed Arizona. And that was doomed from the start. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might Man, it just came right to the quarterback. No hesitation. Tied in on a short pattern. Throws in a hurry. Ah, he's short. Well, he didn't short on it. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. He's on the run. Nothing going there. Heavy pressure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the eight-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go All right, so I'm going to see what they come out in. I probably should just kick the field goal. Yeah, I'm going to do that. going to take their first time out of the half. Yeah. Kicks up. And the field goal is good. Just take the Here's points. From the studio and, Reese Davis. and we got Florida taking down Kentucky 28 to 21. And Florida improves and to 4 and 1. Move up in the this was a tight one to the very end. And for Ryan, Anthony Richardson had a decent game. A pair of touchdown runs. The Gators walk out with a seven point win. Off the block. He's taken down at the 27. <laughs> Throw that away. He gets rid of this one. Ah, ah, I was just a little late. And ensure he had possession. Uh uh. Down at about the 37. We got to get them behind the eight ball, man. They keep going full wide, so I'm kind of scared to blitz them. Make no. the tackle, and he doesn't. No. And, and he three guys miss a tackle. The... And we will. We won't make it. There we, we go. Never had a chance to get any running. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Hopefully this won't be a fake. Jackson is the punter. Yeah. He boosted that one way over there. He dropped it. And he dro oh my God! Thank you, Sire Riley. This was an error that should have been avoided. Oh my! <laughs> He's out to the thirty. Oh, I thought I got past him. Thirty-six. Okay. There he goes. They go, Luke. That's the forty-seven. Steps out of we'll take that. 48 yard line. Just a yard there. He's tackled. Okay, the Nate. Yard line. Jones. Ah, I need that block. Big man. The 30 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Under pressure. Okay. He's at the 20. Nope. He goes out of bounds. Not going to let you 15. get it. But Ian Smith gets the first down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to catch him, big boy. You're not going to catch him. Touchdown. Nasty Nate. Ain't he great? Y'all eat noodles. We eating steak. Big plates. No plastic. We see something, we grab it. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Oh Not my God. Happened, <laughs> boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. 
Boy, ain't no way, boy. Yeah. And my, my hoes take down Texas A&M. 35 to 28. Like Woo pig. The Razorbacks top it off with a seven-point win in another game. The youth came in. And number twenty, Stanford six. takes down number six, Utah, point, twenty-eight to twenty-six. Like Coyote off a cliff. There There's an upset for you. Room to breathe in this game. Cam Rising didn't rise. Execution of the passing he game failed. had to be a pleasure for his coaches to watch as he eclipsed the two hundred yard. Eventually, we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways. To Give it in. And the corner on the interception. And Dante Moore. Can it be a pick the six? Opening. It will be. Let's go. Dante Martin trying to steal the show. That was a super play oh my by God. the team. He on X-Games. interception mode. and an even better return. For Big eight. Ain't nobody safe. Except the kids. <laughs> excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Setting up the play action. Bring him down. Tackle at the 29 yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Screen pass. Bring he's him down. Back. And he's tackled at the 25 yard line. A four yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completion. Just going to let this go in the halftime. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that. Play. Third and 14. Ball on the 25. We're halfway through, and it's been a good Because I don't know how to feel about 14. this. New we Mexico. up 24 to 14, but a big part of the reason for us being up, Glad to or the main the reason for us being up, is our quarterback. Football 14 and he is now show. out for four Presented weeks. By Innovation, now we got to rely on CJ. And David Pollock here completely <laughs> locked in on that first half. If you love for at least I would put Omar back there, but great offensive line play. As I said before, Omar game. cannot change the plays at the line. Completely negated. And I know that you guys on defense talk not so much all the time about And that will also be taking away a receiver. Deal with and you got to find ways to make him feel uncomfortable. So we got to ride with He's CJ. Like to be able to do it with four people and Nate. And not blitz and put your secondary at risk but defense gets a pick hold, six sometimes you gotta Dante bring Martin guy you gotta bring guy maybe with a cornerback or a nickelback with more speed off of the edge right now what the defense has been okay working. they gotta change it up maybe run some line games hasn't been great but it's been stunt, okay but you have to affect they the haven't hit triple digits in either category so far ready to get back on that couch get the remote get all the games we don't have any turnovers we almost had one time to get you back for your Keontae moves a punt Hopefully we don't have to rely on him. There we go, Nate. We slide down. Do not want to get another quarterback hurt. Okay, we got that block. We got that one. Okay. Actually worked that time. There you go, Nate. At the 36 yard line. The defense doesn't see Oh, now Nate is hurt. Ah! And Chad he's running like he's your dad. Okay, so Nasty line. Nate has like a knee bruise, but he will return. And he no blocks on that play. He's scrambling. Don't see anything. He steps out around the 20 We'll take the three. Okay, so I do not like that they're playing up like that. So let's run slants. And we'll hit Luke. Huge play, and it's gonna be first. Skywalker. Oh my. And this man whiffed the whole block, man. Not much going on there. Those kind of look at look at that against this defense. You can be sure of that. He didn't block him at all. You know, bring there, CJ. Touchdown, New Mexico. There you go, CJ. All you had to do was run the he ball, the CJ. He created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. 
and we got Wyoming going on in taking down Hawaii. Play. This game was 34 to 28. On a sumo and Wyoming the gets Cowboys their first win on the season. In other games. And we Seminoles got number. We got number. We got number Florida State. We got number 20. We got number 24 Florida State losing to Clemson. 27-22. The Tigers take it by five in the game. On the ground. He's tackled right around the 30. No. Okay, they starting to run the ball. Get them, Hunter Sellers. And they make the stop at the 47. Uh, He's taken down at the 35 yard line. As soon as I stop defending the pass, they start back passing it. He throws that out of bounds. Of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. Wide open. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 16. Uh, Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Uh, Takes a hand on. Tackle for a loss. No actually got a TFL that time. That's a loss of one. And that's Ronald Wilson. Throws it. Give me that! Come on, Brandon Washington. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And they run it. Okay. We go field goal safe, man. Don't want to fall for no funny business here, and that's a false start. Fifty-four. False start. Offense. You big dummy. The kick is up. But still good. The that makes it a two position game. A 14 point game. I should say. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And, and there was a clip, and I seen it. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Damn. Damn. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Fence figures out how to stop it. I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Now he pitches it. Tackle right around Not much the going on that play. A two-yard run by the halfback. He's going to try and scramble. Gets it oh, out my of God. Here's <laughs> one the quarterback would like to rewind. If line. I told you I was trying to throw that to Omar, would you believe me? Five wide receivers split out. The quarterback you probably the wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, my God. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. Yeah. Oh, excellent punt. Down at the 44 yard line. Uh, and of course, the they'll bring him down at about the We got to miss at least one tackle. That's great execution. Man, that thing's ugly. Quick throw. <gasps> and and that was 30. a complete whiff. He's at the 20. Big game there for the first down. <laughs> there was some miscommunication down there by the defense. That I'd be expecting that to get the tackle animation. I got to stop relying on it. Oh, my God. Because clearly I'm not getting it. And there's a touchdown. And just like that, it's a one possession game. And they right back in it. Oh man. Oh my god, CJ. Shit. Shit. This man ain't even in the same building as far as accuracy. Okay, it's third and one. That'll work. And that will be the end of the third quarter. So far, it looks like it'll be the Please. The fourth. <laughs> the Lobos, Please. Lead. Pray for my team. Put your foes up. On both hands. I know that looks like eight, but. <laughs> Fuck you, Kyle. You're a piece of shit. And he's taken down. And we barely got the first down. That looks like an alien. Tackle 
made at about the 35. Makes it to the That's one way to get it in his hands. Little read option. And they get nice yardage on that one. Slow grind. But handing it off to Nate is. Nice run up the middle. If we can get five every time, that'll work. Okay, I only get three. Surely this man can complete a slant pass if the receivers get open. It is right there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Makes it to the twenty-seven. Another first down. And that man stayed out wide. That, that throw the timing off. It's blocked. Okay, CJ. It'll be now. Andrew Erickson. Okay, Chad. Nasty Nate, rush up that clock. Touchdown. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call. He's out to the field. Nope. This man's going to get 10 or 12 yards before he gets touched. Bring him down. He makes it to the 35 yard line. You would think that would try to score a little bit quicker than this. But right over your head, right? At about the Damn. Yard line. And why did he blitz? You were not supposed to blitz. You supposed to pick up the running back. Ray just doing his own thing out there. And he throws right away. Give me that. And that's how the sellers. The quarterback has made some really careless throws. And that's another pick for the Lobos. That boy jumped a hurdle out of bounds. Damn it, son. Man, I thought Terrence was going to hold that block a little longer. Up the middle for a nice game. They got to start burning timeouts now. Taken down. Okay, CJ. Gets out to around the And what are they calling? Hold on, we got a penalty on the Probably floor. holding. Let's check it out. Holding. Offense. I should be a psychic. No. Nice mm. run. He's brought down. Well, the good thing is they don't have any timeouts left. Up. He'll go down to one knee. And that will do it, folks. We will get our third win on the season. All right. And this will be our first three-game win streak of the season already. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Lobos get the win. Our only loss coming against 24. a top-ten team. Neston Nate is the player of the game. That's he deserved it. He closed it out for us. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. I hate that we lost our starting quarterback again, this time for four weeks. As he was he was making a lot of plays for us in the first half. But we were able to hold on to the lead. Ran the ball pretty good there at the end. That's the play you got hurt on right there. It wasn't even him running. Just a screen pass. Look at him laid out. And then Dante Martin comes up with a pick six to put us up by two scores, I think.
It's a great day to be a Lobo. Knock it out, TCU. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll take a look at the player stats here. As we can see, Ian Smith was having himself a day in the first half. 8 out of 10, 124 yards, 2 TDs. Probably his best half of the season as far as passing. CJ did come in and, well, he didn't... <laughs> He really didn't do much as far as passing, but he did a lot on the ground. On the rushing side, we got Nasty Nate with 114 yards on 18 attempts. We just seen that. Also had a TD. CJ had 66 yards on 9 attempts. He also had a TD. Average 7.3 per carry. That's pretty good. And before Ian Smith got hurt, he had 45 yards on the ground on 5 attempts. He was averaging 9 yards per attempt. On the receiving side, there's not a whole lot to talk about, but we got Terrence Russ with 54 yards on two receptions. We got Luke Skywalker with 47 yards on two receptions. And Omar Davis caught three balls for 22 yards. On the defensive side, we got Ray Luitele leading all tacklers with nine solo tackles, two tackles for a loss. AJ Odoms had four solo tackles, one assisted. Dante Martin also had four solo tackles. And so did Tavian Combs. We did not have any sacks this game. We got to get a pass rusher, man. We have to get a pass rusher. We got, we have to be able to get to the quarterback without having to blitz all the time. We did have two interceptions on the game. Hunter Sellers getting one and Dante Martin getting the other one which turned out to be a pick six. Only had one pass deflection on the game and that was Brandon Washington. Alright, we have several games around the country. We'll start on the left as we have number two Oklahoma taking down Iowa State 35-25. to App State takes down the FCS team 40-40-10. Number nine, Notre Dame gets a win over USC 26-21. Mississippi State takes down USA 40 to 21. We got Maryland taking down Temple 27 to 10 and we got FAU taking down Duke 27 to 24. All right we got the game stats here. It was a close game in the first quarter but then we blew it open in the second quarter and we took a 24 to 14 lead into halftime. We come out in the third quarter and TCU gets the win in that quarter 10 to 7 but we win in the third and we come out on top 38 to 24. We won the first down battle the rushing yard battle. We lost the passing yard battle but I do think if Ian Smith played the whole game, we probably would have won that as well. And we did not turn the ball over, which is really, really good. And we won the time of possession battle. And of course, the offensive player of the game was Nasty Nate. We seen that. And Dante Martin was the defensive player of the game with that old pick six. All right, in the team news, we got Tim Alvarez. He's ready to visit. We are in a recruiting battle with Arsenio Patillo with one other school. Stan McDonald, the very, very good center, is ready to visit. And Caleb Jackson has committed to the team, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And we got Eric Brooks ready to visit as well. All right, so we will do a quick update on some custom recruits just to see where they're going or where they have committed to. I don't believe anybody has committed just yet besides DeArne Patterson and Caleb Jackson. Deontay Patterson committed to Texas A&M and of course Caleb Jackson just committed to the Lobos but we got Jamarlin Jackson Jr. here looks like he's well on his way to Texas A&M we are in second but as you can see that's a long second <laughs> we're a long way off of first all right we have Caleb Kunstman and it looks like there's a battle between TCU and Alabama for him. We are in third, but as you can see, we are down 4,080 points. All right, so we have Christian Alcantar. Looks like he's going to Alabama. UCLA doesn't really look like they're in the hunt right now. So it looks like it's all Alabama. All right, so we got Ethan Marlowe here. Looks like he's going to North Carolina. Got Tennessee and Mississippi State also in the area. But North Carolina has a pretty good lead on them right now. All right, we have Owen Ortiz. He is more than likely going to Penn State. Yeah, they up. Yeah, they up on Nebraska 4,810 points. So, yeah, he's pretty much going to Penn State. Okay, we got Tommy Typhoon here. Looks like he's going to USC. He's a West Coast guy and it looks like he wants to stay on the West Coast. All right, we'll take a quick look at Dale here. Mr. Cigarette. <laughs> looks like he might be going to Baylor. Oklahoma State is in the running. 
So it's Arizona State, but more than likely it's going to be Baylor. And we already seen that DeAndre Patterson committed to Texas A&M. He's a Texas guy. He wants to stay in Texas. I don't blame him. We got Caleb Stewart here. Looks like he's going to Alabama. Yep, Alabama is up a thousand points on North Carolina, 1189 to be exact. So it looks like it's gonna be Alabama. Jimmy John looks like he's going to Notre Dame. UCLA and Cal also on that list, but looks like it's gonna be Notre Dame. Okay, Zach Beatty looks like he's going to Clemson. Yep, Clemson has a big lead over Charlotte, so Clemson is going to be getting a pretty good safety. And we will do a rundown of my board here, or the Lobos board. Tim Alvarez, still look like he's coming to the team. We got a firm lead on him, and we have a visit coming up. We are in the lead for Arsenio Patillo right now. He does have a visit with Baylor, but that's in week 11, and we're not and we're close to week 11 right now so hopefully we can build up enough of a lead to where that visit will not put Baylor back on top of us and the rest of the list we're pretty much gaining on all these guys I'm really hoping we can get a visit and maybe stay in it I'm not gonna pull the points just yet but we'll see what happens got a pretty good outside linebacker we are gaining on right now. Then we got another decent outside linebacker. Then we have a couple middle linebackers here. We in the lead on this guy and we're gaining on this guy. Also have a cornerback we're gaining on. Two cornerbacks we're gaining on. Three cornerbacks we're gaining on. Four cornerbacks we're gaining on. <laughs> we are also gaining on this strong safety. We are on top of this guy's board and we have a visit. I'm just waiting on the visit for this punter here and I'm going to schedule that visit as quickly as possible. Maybe we can get this guy. We have several athletes down here that we are in the lead on or we're gaining on. And I'm really excited about that. And we do have Caleb Jackson who committed to the team. So shout out to Dare for being a part of the Lobos. Come on in here, my boy. <laughs> Okay, we got the top 25 here. We do have some movement at the bottom of the top 10. We'll check that out. Ohio State is still on top. Oklahoma still at two. Alabama still at three. Baylor still at four. Arkansas moves up to number five after knocking out Texas A&M. So they pretty much swap places. Notre Dame jumps up to six after knocking off UNC. And we got USC sitting at seven we got texas a&m at eight they dropped down after losing to arkansas of course we've seen that michigan state moves up to nine even though they're two and two i don't like that washington is sitting at 10 that team probably should be in front of michigan state arizona state deserves to be in front of michigan state as well eventually these things will work themselves out hopefully utah drops down after they lose to stanford both six and seven lose as Miami lost to Wake Forest and they dropped down to 13. Syracuse at 14. Let's see. Any other movement? Oh, Florida is no longer a top 10 team. They lost. Was that in the previous week? It might have been the previous week. There's a week. Like, there's a week in between like a, a real life week in between these games so the previous game the previous episode of the Lobos and this episode is a week apart so I'm sorry if I'm forgetting things <laughs> uh let's see Stafford Wake Forest Michigan Ole Miss drops down after losing to Bama Texas UCLA and Clemson are all new faces on the top 25 poll some would say that UCLA does not deserve to be on there. I am with you. Let's see. Okay, we have a few teams that have played conference games. Colorado State is 2-0 in the conference right now, 1-0 in the division. Wyoming is also 1-0 in the division. Yeah, are we the only team that... No, Utah State hasn't played a conference game either. But Air Force is 0-2. 
Boys, the state is 0-1. And, and we'll check the west side as UNLV is 1-0 in the conference. So is Nevada and so is Fresno State. Hawaii is 0-2. And, and San Diego State is 0-1. All right, so Nasty Nate is no longer on the list. I am not surprised by that because, like, the stats really haven't been there. So it is what it is, man. At this point, I'm just trying to win games. But we do have the QB from Wake Forest, Sam Hartman, on top of the list now. Jamar Gibbs coming in at second. CJ Stroud at third. Michael Bernard at fourth. Jordan Simmons at fifth. All right, if you made it to this part of the episode, you already know how I go on this show. It's the outro. Bitch. Yes, sir. We got us a good win against TCU. And we improved to three and one. But we lose our quarterback in the process. He is going to be out for four weeks. So I don't know if that week counts as a week. It might. So hopefully he will only be out two games because we do have a bye week here and he'll just be out for the San Diego State game and the UNLV game but anyway San Diego State is our next opponent they are 0-3 we cannot look at the record and be like okay they haven't won a game they're not any good because we are not the best team either so we have to go into this game with a clean slate do the same thing we did in the last three games and get the W but if you haven't already, man, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, that way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. And drop a comment down in the comment section, man. And if you do all three of those things, I mean you and if you comment enough, you can get on the shout-out list. And speaking of the shout-out list, I got it right here. Shout out to Product Visuals, Optimal Prime 870, the rapper 10,000, War Master 777, Thomas Bays. Arsenio Patillo, Eric Rams, Dare, Matt Aarons, Deonay Patterson, Andrew Minton, Roscoe underscore 34, Clips, Slapshark 23, Ethan Marlowe, JK YouTube, Tony Hawkins, Jordan Barker, Tim Alvarez, Afro Magic, Smoking A609, and Caleb Harper. And I would like to thank you guys again. I know I do it. I know I do it at the end of every episode, but I really do appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. You know what I'm saying? Doing all those good things. Liking the videos. Subscribing to the channel. Hopping in the comment section. All that good stuff, man. I really do appreciate it. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much longer. I am your HC. This is the Lobos series. It's season two. You know what it do. Come back next time. <laughs> I'm out.